Tinapay mula sa langit. A Daily Morning Devotion with CRC Family A blissful morning to everyone who's following this program of Tinapay Mula sa Langit, the everyday devotion of God's Word. I am Sister Abigail Layosa Pron from CRC Calabanga Daughter Church, a representative from Ottawa, Ontario, Canada. Please stay with me in meditating the Word of God and let us start with a prayer. The Lord Most High, we thank you for this morning that once again we can listen and meditate your words. Please guide us with your Holy Spirit and give us wisdom to understand your promises for us. May our faith grow in you more each day as we dive into your word. We pray for a deeper faith. So we say yes, Lord, to your will in us and be able to see what you wanted to show us as we meditate your word. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The Bible text we are going to read is from Genesis chapter 14 verses 21 to 24 with the title, The Temptation. It says in verse 21, The king of Sodom said to Abram, Give me the people and keep the goods for for yourself. Verse 22, But Abram said to the king of Sodom, With raised hand I have sworn an oath to the Lord, God most high, creator of heaven and earth. Verse 23, that I will accept nothing belonging to you, not even a thread or the strap of a sandal, so that you will never be able to say, I made Abram rich. Verse 24, I will accept nothing but what my men have eaten and the share that belongs to the men who went with me. To honor is call in Mamre. Let them have their share. Amen. May God bless his words. This is a fascinating passage. And to get full picture, we must remember the scene laid out in the previous verses. Abram defeats several armies with just 318 men by attacking them at night. The king of Sodom, who apparently survived falling into tar pits, comes to the king's valley to meet Abram. And Melchizedek, king of Salem, and a priest of God Most High, shows up with bread and wine and blessing both Abram and God, crediting God with Abram's victory. Melchizedek blessing God and acknowledging that God delivered Abram's enemies into his hand. Abram, without saying a word, giving a tenth of all to Melchizedek by virtue of Melchizedek being a priest. By Abram giving to Melchizedek, he was actually giving to God. Just as later under Levitical law, those who brought in their tithes and offerings for the priest were giving to God. And in verse 21, the king of Sodom said to Abram, Give me the people and keep the goods for yourself. And here, on this verse, the temptation was opened. Temptation from Merriam-Webster Dictionary means of something that caused a strong urge or desire to have or do something, especially something that is bad, wrong, or unwise. The king of Sodom offers his goods to Abram, his course of action to attract or tempt Abram. But Abram refuses to take them, not wanting to be made by rich by the king of Sodom. Why Abram refused the offer? Because he doesn't want to commit sin against the Lord. For we know the men of Sodom were wicked. And Abraham knows that the king of Sodom is not acknowledging God. So in verses 22 to 23, he assured that no one can attribute his greatness and possessions in any way, but only God most high alone. As he swore an oath beforehand to God, Abraham allegiance solely to whom is worthy. He wants to give God all the credits, glory, and gratitude. He believed and trust God's promises. So, he generously refused this offer. He accompanies his refusal with a good reason. In verse 23, So that you will never be able to say, I made Abraham rich. Because Abraham's faith, God is the only one, who can make him rich. This reflects the promises and covenants of God to Abraham that he is holding on since the very first day he was chosen and called by God. The people of God must believe that the Lord God Most High, the Creator of heaven and earth, shall supply all our need according to His riches in glory by Christ Jesus. It is also written in Philippians chapter 4, verse 19. This passage teaches us to have faith in the Lord, hold unto His promises, and trust Him that He will bless us, guide us, and stay with us wherever we go. Whenever the circumstances and temptations are, He will never leave us nor forsake us. Hebrews chapter 13, verse 5. 
It's true that this world could offer us a lot of things, but let us not compromise with the world because we have a great God that can make all things possible. In every situation, acknowledge God. Ask His guidance and wisdom. Trust His will and promises. And like Abraham, let the Lord to make us rich in all aspects of our lives as we continue serving the Lord forevermore. Let us pray. Lord God, we thank you for your word that opens our understanding how to face temptations or any difficult situations and reminds us as well to keep our faith in you, trust in your promises, and let you be glorified in our lives. May you continue to strengthen us every day to overcome every circumstances. Father God, we lift up to you our nation, the Philippines amidst pandemic, to stand with your guidance and wisdom. We are praying also the incoming election 2020. May your will be done, and may the persons who will lead the Philippines will have a heart not only serving people, but serving you as well. Like Abraham by giving to Melchizedek, he was actually giving to you. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you everyone for listening to the Word of God. Please be with us on our next episode tomorrow at 5.30 a.m. Philippine time for daily devotion and meditation of the gospel. You are also free to share this video so that many could be blessed by God's Word. And please don't forget to click the notification bell below to notify you on our next episode only here on Tinapay Mula Salangit. Thank you and God bless.